Hey guys, Moan Pabera here and this video will show you some of the biggest mistakes people are doing when they're trying to buy businesses. Let's get to it. So hey, this is Moan Pabera and this is another video on the topic of buying and growing businesses. If you don't know yet, this channel is all about how to buy, grow businesses and make sure someone else operate those day-to-day -day, uh, tasks for us so we can grow a portfolio of businesses. In my opinion, that's the best way to go for if you want to be an entrepreneur, a business owner, people out there talking about starting businesses and they don't know that sometimes it will cost you the same amount of money and time to go and buy an existing profitable business that's already existing in whatever sector you want. I also believe that if you have an existing business, this is the best way to grow. There's only so much you can grow with doing more sales and marketing. And this way we can go and buy your competitors or just similar businesses to yours. That's what the biggest companies out there are doing. Companies like Facebook who are buying companies like WhatsApp or Amazon who are buying companies like Whole Foods. That's their best way to grow and meet their shareholder demands. And you can do the same with smaller businesses. So this video gonna walk through some of the mistakes I see people are doing. So let's start with the first one, which I think is just, you are making the biggest mistake, I think, if you, especially if you don't have an existing business, if you're going to try and start a business, especially all those startups. And I guess people think that they're going to start the next Facebook. Just look at the stats out there, guys. Most startups fail. And in, instead of that, what I think you can do, and especially if you have a dream of building a better lifestyle and just taking a better income, I think buying a business is the best way. If you want to change the world and you have like a new technology or revolution, then maybe you want to start a new business. But I think even you have that idea, just go and buy existing business in that sector that you have the dream. And then I guess develop that idea in your existing business when you already have existing profitability and revenues and, and list of clients and just something to work with. So I think that's the biggest first mistake in the space of buying businesses. You're just not looking to buy a business. You're just trying to start something from scratch. And I guess you can also mention the fact that if you have an existing business, the only way you try to grow is by doing more sales and marketing where you can just go and buy another business. So for example, if you have an existing 1 million business, you can go and buy another 1 million business and you'll have a 2 million a year business literally in an afternoon from the moment you bought that business. It's gonna take you so much more to do that if you're just gonna focus on sales and marketing. I guess the second mistakes or, or just something that I, I, I see people tell me all the time is they don't know where to find those deals, they don't have time to find those deals and where to find those deals. And even if you find those deals, you don't know how to find motivated sellers and you maybe you go out there, you start to talk to business owners, but you find out that they, you just waste their time. All they wanted is just to maybe get some capital from you to inject in order to grow their business. And they just look for, uh, I guess, an equity partner, but they never really were serious to sell the business to you. So that's one of the next biggest thing people out there are talking to me and they just don't know what to do. They just put themselves out there. And instead of talking to legit motivated sellers who want to sell their business, for some reason, they have ways to find just any business owner. And for the, there's no way they'll buy their business for a fair accounting valuation price if they're mo not motivated to sell. Another one I hear all the time is, they don't return my phone calls. They're not taking me seriously. And isn't that annoying? I'm sure it's, it's really, really annoying if that happened to you. It's happened to me a lot in the past. You need to have the dream team behind you, the track record behind you. Otherwise, people won't take you serious. I mean, people out there try to talk to business owners. They try to buy a million dollar business and they never had a business before. They never had any experience or even if they had, they have a very little experience many times in different sectors. So they found out they're not even able to go through gatekeepers or through brokers in order to talk and be positioned as a legit buyer with proof of funds behind him in order to buy those businesses. Another one is people out there talk to business owners, but they find out that most of those businesses they talk to, they want a price on their business that there's no way they can afford. Uh, obviously, that's frustrating. Yes, you can maybe loan a small percentage from the bank, but it's not enough to even get close to do that deal. Another one is many people other start with looking on only distressed businesses. So businesses that are literally about to shut down and close their doors. They're wasting so much time to look for those deals uh, that the, time, the same time that they could put into looking into profitable businesses. And they just found out like even if they bought a business, many times they need to liquidate that business after a few weeks because the business is not making any money and they're not able to turn around the business. 
Many times they don't have the experience to do it. And even if they read a few books on how to turn around businesses, they found out that when in real life, it's really, really different. Another one is, let's say you find a deal, you don't know how much you can leverage on a deal. You don't know how much debt you can take and put into the business. You don't know how to calculate the right ratios in, this business, in the business between debt and just the, the business profitability. And I see many, many businesses out there who eventually need to shut down because they have too much debt that they can't pay. To. And that's a, a very sad scenario. You buy a business, you leverage the, basically the, the assets in the business in order to buy the business. And many times you literally destroy the business by taking too much debt. Another one is brokers. So using brokers, you have too much competition. You get to a point where maybe you can buy a business, but then you find out someone is offering a little bit more than you because there's so much competition with those businesses and you're not putting yourself out there and just talking to other businesses who are not listed for sale. Another one is not looking at enough deals. So you're basically thinking that if you're going to send one letter or do one call to a business owner, you're going to buy that business and you're not thinking long term. You're not thinking about putting yourself out there and there's just no way you want to buy your first business. Maybe you do if you have luck, but it, coming from that attitude is just not the right thing to do. Another mistake is you don't know what sector you're in. You don't know enough about your sector and you're making offer of, let's say, four or five times EBITDA in a sector that other people are buying businesses for two times multiples or for 10 times multiples and you don't know where to put yourself into. You don't do your research. You don't know enough about the business and the sector. And all those mistakes are before I'm even talking about financing or finding a manager to run the day-to-day -day of the business. Obviously, unless you want to run the business yourself day-to-day. -day. So, and that's obviously huge because if you're running the day-to-day -day yourself, you don't have time to, I guess, do what you want or to look for other deals. You just need to be too much involved in the day-to-day, -day, in the bringing more clients, sales, financing. And whenever you put in too much time in there, there's no way you have time to grow your portfolio. And remember, every mistake in this space of buying businesses can cost you a small fortune. Like I talked last week with someone who bought a business who raised $500,000 from his families and friends. And he thought that he's buying a business where he's not, he don't need to be involved in the day to day. He found out that it's, that it's wrong. He need to be there day to day in order to the business to survive. And now he's working so many hours every week just in order to basically return his family and his friends money and I guess get them their loan back. So yeah, guys, lots of mistakes. I've been through a lot of those mistakes myself, and I'm here to literally, hopefully, cut in your lear learning curve and help you and educate you on mistakes that I've done. Um, so you won't, you won't need to do the same mistakes. That's it for today. Subscribe, like the video, help me grow the channel, engage with me, comment below. Let me know what you think. What do you think is the biggest mistake you can do in this space of buying businesses? Or if you've done, you had a mistake already, tell me in the comment below uh, what's the biggest mistake you already did. So yeah, see also in the description, there's a link to the Business Buying Facebook Mastermind group. It's a free group with people who are buying businesses or want to get into the space of buying businesses. So definitely join to that group. And there's also a link to a survey where you can put your questions and send them to me personally. I read all of them. You put the details and I'll create personalized videos like this for you. As you see, I'm trying to upload on a day-to-day -day basis. So I need your ideas for a video. So definitely put them below. And for some of you who want to work more closely with me, people message me about that. So I do two or three calls a week, one-on-one uh, -on -one calls with me where you can basically learn more about the place of buying businesses or ask me any question you have. And potentially, if I like you and there's a good vibe between us, I'll show you how you can work with me and my team, team who did more than 300 deals and have access to contacts with the financial institutions, obviously accountants, lawyers, and all the experience that you need in order to buy businesses yourself, potentially as our partners. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.